All right, hello and welcome. This is Aaron with Steel Picking. In this video, I'm going to show you a advanced chord study. And what I'm trying to achieve or help you with is that uh, in some of my previous lessons, I've shown you that most common chord progressions in country music, or a lot of them, will have a 1-4-5 chord. So if you're in the key of C, you'd have C, F, and G. That would be the 1-4-5. Now, the way I approach a lot of songs is that in that third chord, or that five chord, you have a little bit of leeway in that you can embellish the chords more. Now, instead of, in other words, instead of just playing a regular, if you're in the key of C, it's C, F, G. Instead of playing just a G or G seventh, you can uh, experiment with that, maybe like a G thirteenth or a G ninth or a G seven flat five and look at some different forms of that chord make your uh playing a little more interesting or add a little more variety to your playing so that's what my purpose of teaching these i've got two of these lessons in mind to do so the first one this one is going to be out of the key of c c major seven so uh with this one since it's an original something I came up with, we'll have tabs and backing tracks available for this lesson and for the other lesson. So you can click on the card uh, and go to the link in the description. That'll get you to the Patreon site where you can have access to those. So uh, let's look at this lesson. Uh, so we're gonna also utilize uh, what I call it a grip, a common grip. So we're going to try to use the same notes. In this instance, we're using five, six, and nine as a group. And just by uh, manipulating our pedals, we can go through five different chords in one position, one fret, just using different pedals. So uh, this, I believe, will be a good uh, lesson for you to learn, help you with your chord vocabulary, and hopefully add a little variety to your playing. And uh, like I know myself, I'm always looking for something to make a little bit distinct when I'm playing to stand out from the other instruments in the group. So let's look at this lesson, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so let's look at the lesson. Uh, like I said at the outset, I've got two purposes of teaching this. One of them is just to show you how you can take a very simple grip. And what I mean by that is we can take the strings 5, 6, and 9, and by utilizing our pedals, we can play a variety of chords, and we can also do that out of one position. Now, I chose C major seventh as the, uh, the root chord or the one chord, and uh, what we're, we're gonna do is go to the third fret, and we're gonna play, the first chord we're gonna play over is an F major ninth. So I can go to the third fret, press A and B pedals down, play that group, that group's not gonna change, and then we have a string that's like a drone or like a string that's ringing, and that's going to be our fourth string. So while the chords are ringing, I'm simply adding that fourth string, keeping that note on top, that G note. Okay, so let's look at the very first chord, five, six, nine, third fret, A and B pedals down, and then add four. Okay, that's real real simple that's going to play over an F major ninth chord now the next chord in the progression is a G sus all I have to do is simply roll off the A pedal keep my B pedal down play the same group the group does not change then add four so I play five six nine again B pedal only add four Okay, so now we've gone from F major ninth to G suspended. Okay, the next chord in the progression is a G6 chord. Now all I'll have to do is roll off the B pedal and just hold my A pedal down, play the same group, six, five, uh, five, six, nine, add four. 
Okay, that's a G6, or that'll play over a G6. Then the next chord is a G 13th. Okay, so what we do here, third fret, no pedals, you play five, six, nine, play the fourth string open. So I pull my bar back. That E note gives me that 13th of that chord. Okay, so now we've got F major 9th, G suspended, G6, G 13th. Okay, and it's going to resolve to a C major 7th. Now what you do here is you simply play the same group again, but we're going to lower this ninth string with a knee lever one half fret or down a half. Okay, and that's a C major seventh. And I did that harmonic. If you, if you want to try to do that, you play it at the 15th, the 10th, and 8th. Okay, so again, just a real simple way to play some really nice chords and using one fret, one group, just simply utilizing our pedals. And, and the pedals weren't that complicated either. We just used A and B pedals and one knee lever lowering that ninth string. All right, so again, I'll play it one more time. So we went F major ninth, G suspended, G6, G 13th, C major 7th. And it sounded like this. All right, hope you enjoyed this and hope it'll help you. So give it a try and let me know what you think. So, as always, Jeb and I just want to thank you for checking out our videos and hope you like this and subscribe. And like I said at the outset, there is a tab and backing track available. And you can click on the card or go to the description to get you to our Patreon site where you can check out what we're doing there and support us. And also, if you want to check out the equipment we're using here on our videos, you can go to the Amazon link in the description. So as always, uh, Jacob and I just want to thank you for your support. Thank our patrons for helping us and keep picking.